If we take a detailed look at the new M4CS, I think it's important to explain what the new M4CS stands for. In the future, we will also use this nomenclature, this model designation, for other models, and I think it's important to know where it comes from and what the message is. So let me start by saying that last year, 2016, we introduced the BMW M4 with a competition package, a vehicle with increased engine performance compared to the standard package from 2014 with different chassis features, with bigger wheels and with different setups that give the car another large performance boost in terms of being sporty. As well as several exterior features such as all the black badges, the black kidney, there are also several changes to the interior, such as the weight-optimized competition seat that rounds off the competition package introduced last year. In addition to the competition package, we also launched our brand shaper in 2016, the M4 GTS. This car had a very different objective, and we'll take another look at it now in that context. You can see from the exterior that this car is made for the racetrack. It's designed for the racetrack. It has more or less everything built in that helps to really perform on the racetrack. It's a very light car. It has many carbon fiber features such as the front hood, such as the rear diffuser, and many interior features that we may take a look at later. This car has a very impressive appearance with an adjustable front splitter that can be set according to intended purpose for either road or racetrack. Combined with the rear wing, which also features various setting modes, this car has clearly been optimized and set up for the racetrack. Besides the aerodynamics, the car has also made a leap forward in terms of power. We used water injection in this car for the first time. That means that compared to the M4 with a competition package, this car has an additional power of up to 50 HP with a total power of 500 HP and is thus set up for extremely good performance on the racetrack. As well as the power, several changes to the chassis were also extremely important. The three-way M coilover suspension features mechanically adjustable compression and rebound settings with precise independent adjustment of low speed and high speed compression. We offer recommendations for the setup for road and for racetrack. Overall, this package was capable of by far the quickest lap time ever by a BMW on the North Loop, a time of 7 minutes 28, and that is a clear statement of racetrack orientation. This statement of racetrack orientation can also be clearly seen when we take a look at the interior. I think what's immediately evident is that the car is purely a two-seater. It has a roll cage, it has racing bucket seats with the option of fitting six-point harnesses. The interior of the car is also extremely well optimized in terms of being lightweight. The car has a lightweight center console. It has highly weight optimized door panels made of natural fiber, so we have tried to remove as much weight as possible from the car in all areas in order to make further gains in terms of performance. So all in all, it turned out well. So how do we get to the CS? We said that between the GTS, which is purely for the racetrack, and the very sporty M4 with the competition package, there's a space for a car that we'd like to and will call the CS. It's not focused exclusively on the racetrack. It is a car that we intended particularly for very sporty road use. The BMW M4 CS borrows much from the competition on the one hand and much from the GTS on the other. What was extremely important for us in terms of a better performance than the M4 with the competition package was a well thought out aerodynamic concept. So the car has its own new front splitter, non-adjustable but with far greater performance characteristics than in the competition package. And this car also has a distinctive gurney at the rear. 
which is characteristic of the superior aerodynamics we have given this car as compared to the competition package. The aerodynamics of this car correspond to the aerodynamics of the GTS in road mode. Just to give you an idea, we have a slight downforce on the rear axle and virtually neutral conditions at the front. A second very important point that gives the car more performance is the use of Michelin Sport Cup 2 tires. They are the same tires that also greatly boosted the performance of the GTS. We use these on new rims, light aluminum alloy wheels of a size comparable to the GTS. So the tires and aerodynamics in this vehicle borrow strongly from the GTS. What we have also done is take chassis features from the M4 with the competition package, upgrade them and give them a new setup including DSC, ABS, adaptive M suspension, active M differential and drive logic. So the car is borrowed from the M4 with a competition package, although in a special setup configuration for the CS. What you can also see in this car in terms of lightweight, we have a carbon fiber front hood comparable to that of the GTS. It was important to us here to address the matter of lightweight more than with the competition. That means this car weighs about 30 kilograms less than the M4 with the competition package, but at the same time, it has a greater engine power. This car doesn't have 450 HP, it has 460. And the thing you notice even more is its 600 Newton meter torque, rather than 550. That means you will also notice a difference in drive performance. On the subject of drive performance, it's important to mention that this car accelerates faster than the M4 with the competition package, now going from 0 to 100 km per hour in 3.9 seconds, reaching 200 in 12.8 seconds, and it has the driver's package as standard, so this car has a speed limiter set at 280 km per hour. A look at the interior is definitely worthwhile as well at this point, as of course it was important for us not only to design the exterior of the car appropriately, but also to give its interior that sporty feel and make greater use of the elegance of leather and Alcantara. And in its conception, we took many features from the GTS. Here you'll recognize the lightweight center console, you'll recognize the door panels, which we have fitted in the CS for passengers in the rear as well. This car is a four-seater, and the side paneling in the rear is also made of natural fiber, just like the door panels. We also have a higher proportion of Alcantara in the seats for optimizing lateral support. We can also see Alcantara up here on the dash with the CS inscription, so you immediately know you're in a special vehicle with a special styling. Both driver and passenger are instantly made aware that this is a special model. The steering wheel can come in an Alcantara finish, but doesn't have to. It really depends on one's personal preference. Personally, I wouldn't want to miss out on the Alcantara. As soon as you get in, you realize that this car is different from an M4 with a competition package. You can see the M4 CS inscription here on the entry door sills, and combined with the lightweight door panels, you can see with these extremely stylized and attractive door closing loops that ultimately this car is reduced to the optimum. Why are we at the Nürburgring? That's how I started, and that's how I'd like to finish now. How fast does it go? And that's the thing that was extremely important to us. We wanted to offer a model that sits between the M4 with the competition package and the GTS, and you can see this in the lap times. This car is round about 10 seconds faster than the M4 with the competition package, and about 7 seconds slower than the GTS. That means that under comparable driving conditions, it's possible for this car to achieve a lap time on the Nürbur North Loop of 7 minutes 35. I believe that we will attract a lot of interested customers with this car. 
There will be a limited number of these cars, not because it's a limited edition in terms of total production volume, but because of the production period. The car will be assembled at the Munich Works from 2017 to 2019, and we anticipate a total production volume of around 3,000 units. The car will come in two special colors. One is here, San Marino Blue Metallic, and the other is Lime Rock Gray Metallic. Otherwise, there is black, Alpine White, and as of November, a very attractive frozen color as well. Otherwise, I think I have described the car in its entirety. I think better than a description is the personal, direct impression that you get from this car, which is why I can recommend to everyone, try to get a live impression of the new M4 CS.